Okay, so, so mentors, I mean, if everyone here is, is thinking, do I need one? I was saying they are for everyone, but, but who, who is the kind of person? Who do you look for um, in a mentor? What kind of qualities? I think, Hannah, you have to accept some things. One, that it is possible to be happy, that our natural state is joy. A lot of people can't accept that because life is so painful, so much suffering and misery, anxiety, discontentment, fear. That's just me. I don't know what you might be having a nice time. <laughs> But I have to believe that joy is our natural state. Once I believe that, then I have to find people that exhibit the characteristics that I am trying to emulate or access. So I acknowledge my own limitations. I acknowledge the possibility. So step one, we're fucked. There's a problem. <laughs> step two, it's possible to not be fucked. It's possible to improve. Step three, are you on your own going to unfuck yourself? No. <laughs> so that's where you need to invite a mentor into your life. Now, the way I selected mine was I looked at people that were living lives, like in the book I write about uh, Jimmy, he helps me with drug, al drug and alcohol stuff, as did Chip when I first got clean. And then there's people like uh, women that help me, I feel like, to be more available and present in my marriage and understand my own, I don't know, femininity, if we can work along those lines. It's, these terms are changing, aren't they? Um, and and then, then the people in it like Amma, who are transcended beings who like what happens if what would happen if you could let go of all of your jealousy all of your greed all of your selfishness all of your entitlement who would you become if you could let go of fear and you know for most of us that's a very really sort of challenging idea but for someone like Amma she is doing it she just has become love only love no judgment so like she's in there because I think well, that'd be good wouldn't it just to be just love that would be a lot less pressure she's the hugging saint she's the hugging saint so people might not know if you don't know who she is, she's the hugging saint. She's completely non-judgmental. She'll just give you a hug. She doesn't care. You go, oh, I, I, I murdered someone. Yeah, did you? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> doesn't there, make any difference. There are two types, I feel, in the book of mental. And initially, it seems that to be a mental or to be one of your mentors, there's a certain need for them to be kind of fallible, to be able to have been through what you've been through. Yes, well, for me, I, I need mentors that I can realistically emulate, and because I'm aware of my own fallibility, because I have faltered, you know, a lot, yeah, I can't be... I tried to ask Emma that exact question, actually. I said to her, and it was good, I knew, like, she only speaks... Only speaks? She speaks a, a South Indian dialect, right? So everything I say has to be translated. So the bloke who was translating it, a Brahmin monk thing... He goes, I, I said to him, she's a bit like Maradona though, isn't she? Like, you know, you can't emulate that. That's just someone who's been born with it. Like Maradona, he can't explain to you how to be Maradona because he just goes, well, you know, I'm Maradona. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> does all his flash Maradona shit. Like maybe Adele. You know, like Adele just does her Adele shit. How do you do that exactly? She can't explain it. Genius is difficult to quantify is what I'm saying. So like uh, I asked her that. I said, can you teach this to us? She sort of don't think she got the question, but I did hear the translator go in Indian, talking Indian, 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 Maradona, Indian, 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 Indian. Because sometimes you can't trust the translator, because I, I interviewed that Dalai Lama once, and that translator, man, he fucked me up. Because a lot of my jokes, the Dalai Lama weren't getting them. In fact, he looked quite angry. For a person who thinks the material world's an illusion, he looked pretty pissed off. I'm out of here. <laughs> so how does it work with someone like Amma um, in terms of... How, how is she a mentor to you? Well, you, in the case of Amma or other enlightened beings, say like Eckhart Tolle or someone, if you ever spoke to him or met him, like he's, what he's done is he's managed to interrupt the frequencies that, of the personal self, right? So you, like it's hard if you're someone that's as fallible as me to get downloads. Someone made the mistake of giving me Eckhart Tolle's phone number, right? So I was like, hold on a minute, I've got fucking Eckhart Tolle's phone number now, because he's a like, wise, wise guy. So I'm like, I've just, I started bothering him with every problem I had. <laughs> Eckhart, I'm nervous, I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've fit my Sky, my Sky Plus box is full up. I'm going to have to delete some shows. But the thing is, the, Eckhart, Eckhart. <laughs> it was during the World Cup, right? No. <laughs> So a lot of things were getting recorded. Uh, like, and I go, now it goes to him, Eckhart, do you care that uh, Germany, it was the World, World Cup back, do you care that Germany are doing well in the World Cup? 
no, I do not. <laughs> and then I asked him about a relationship. I'm not sure about this relationship, Eckhart. I don't know if it's going to work. Well, perhaps the relationship will work. Perhaps you will stay together and have children. Then you will both die. <laughs> well, thanks, mate. Uh, <laughs> I think at that point, he was just getting sick of the phone calls, you know? <laughs> so what I'm saying is, is that some people are so transcended or evolved that it feels difficult for me to receive missives from their s rarefied state. Not that I'm, you know, Eckhart Tolle is obviously a master and a great teacher. But what I'm saying is for the mentors that are close to me in my life are people where you know they're fucking nutters, but they've managed to wrangle their own nutterness in. So maybe I can. 